Good morning, scholars. Well, Skunky told me that he thinks that you're ready to do two pages at one time. He thinks that the great scholars you are can handle it. So we're going to do the, the last two pages of this lesson on one day. And he assures me that you can handle it. Right, Skunky? All right, so let's see if Skunky is correct. And I kind of think he's right, too. I think you can handle it. Remember, we're thinking about the k sound at the end of the words. You spell it C-K after a vowel. I just might remind myself here. C-K after a short vowel. And K after a consonant. So let's just remind ourselves. Consonant. And after a Q, there's always a U. Good. And it makes the qu sound. So whenever you hear qu, it's not KW, it's Q, U. So those are our main ideas of this lesson. Now this page could be longer than it is, but we don't do this third part. Be ready to write some of the sentences when they're read to you. Maybe your parents are asking you to do that, and that's awesome if they do, but since we're not in the classroom, I'm not going to do that right now either. So read these sentences about stinky stuck skunk. So I can do that. I can read them. Then it says to box all of this lesson's pattern words. So we're going to box in the pattern words. Now the bad thing is we don't have a list of the pattern words right here and it's not even on the adjoining page. So you might have to skip back to the beginning or to a page that has one of those yellow tables in it to see if the words you're picking are on there. But most of them are stuck in our brain anyway because we've been working with them all week. But let's go ahead and see box all of the lesson. Then it says, be ready to write some of the sentences when they are read to you. So if mom or dad want to read some and you write them down, that's awesome. You can do that. All right, let's look at number one. A black skunk was stuck in the teacher's desk. What? Skunky, would you ever get in my desk? No, skunky. Oh my goodness, somebody did. Some black skunk did that. But let's look. Black, I remember working with black a lot, so I'm going to say yes. Skunk. Hmm. I'm not sure if skunk was, so I've got to go back and look. Skunk. Oh, yep, skunk was right there, number eight. So I'm going to box in skunk. Was was a heart word. If you want to put a heart above it, you can do that, because it says box the pattern words. It doesn't say to do that, but I'm just doing a little extra. Stuck. Yes, I remember stuck in the teacher's desk. Oh, I remember desk because I thought it was weird we had some SK words. There we go. So I box those four words in and I can go back and check. There's desk, there's skunk, there's stuck, and there was black. So yeah, those were all of our words. We'll do one more together and then I'll turn the page. We'll review what we do on that last page. A stinky smell came from a crack in the desk. <laughs> Skunky, was that you? Oh, he's saying it wasn't him. He's a good skunk. He doesn't make a stink. Nah, he doesn't. Let's see. A stinky smell came from a crack in the desk. Stinky. I want that to be one of my words because it's got that K in there. Stink. Was stink one of our words? Stink, 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 stuck was, nope, no stink, even though that NK follows. I'm going to double check again, stuck. I really, really, really want to box that in because it follows the pattern, but it wasn't our pattern word. And the smell, that's a floss word, that could have been last week's, the double the L's, came from a crack, oh yeah, crack, I remember writing that in the desk. And I guess that stinky smell was a skunk. Mmm. Poor skunky. They, I don't know why, but it's okay, skunky. He gets a little sad when people talk about their smells. Well, so you're going to continue on with this page, right? Boxing all the pattern words. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. 
The next page is not all that difficult either. The end of every single lesson is going to be a journal entry that you are going to read. And we know that we're going to do something with words and we know that we're going to have to have an adult time us to see how quickly we could read that, or I shouldn't say quickly, to see how fluently we can read. Remember, our fluency, it's not a race. There's no blue ribbon for being done first. It's the rate at which you read so that you're reading accurately, you're comprehending or understanding, and you use expression when you read. So it's a rate, a fluent rate, accurately, understanding, and with expression. That's what fluency is. So down here at the bottom right away, these last two things we're not going to do. So we don't have those. So we're going to just scribble those out. I am going to put a big star down here or circle this. So I'll remember to do it. How long does it take you to read every single lesson? You're going to do that this year. So just learn that now. Every single lesson you are going to time yourself or get someone to time you because they should listen to you and hear what great readers you are. Reading aloud is very important. So an adult, older sibling should time you on that one. And then at the top, after a long hike through the deep brush, we arrived at a hidden lagoon and had a surprise visit from the park ranger. So what do we have to do? We have to circle all of the pattern words. So all of the pattern words. Are we going to circle words that follow the pattern? No. It says all of the pattern words. So we're only going to circle the ones that are on our list. Circle all of the pattern words in this lesson you can find. So if I just start reading, the animals came to the lagoon to quench, there's that fancy word to put out, their thirst. So they came to the lagoon where the water was to quench their thirst. The cool liquid, we didn't talk too much about liquid, but there's the QU in the middle, the qua is a welcome sight to the animals. And you're going to keep reading and you're going to keep circling the pattern words and you're going to have a parent or adult time you. So you've got two pages to do today, but Skunky thought you could do it and I think he's right. Box the pattern words here, circle the pattern words here, and read this passage to someone so they can hear what a great reader you are. All right, until next time, Skunky and his quilt and his friend, Reindeer Deer, Rain, Reindeer Duck, say, go out and do great things. See you later.